Hey guys, Soak here. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Fun fact, I almost played this game instead of Danganronpa all the way back in 2018 when I spotted it for free in the Steam store because I was looking for another visual novel to play. Cut to six years later. I'm only just now diving into this. After all the hype and buzz came and went, it's free. It's free. I had no excuse. It's kind of like when I first played Undertale, in fact. So... Here we are now, 2024, playing DDLC, um, I want to say 95% blind. All I really know is that this whole kawaii style presentation is not what it seems, but actually I guess I could have gathered that from the initial warning telling me how disturbing this game is for children. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, in any case, as this is a blind playthrough, please refrain from any spoilers in the comments as per usual. I am very excited to finally see what the hubbub is all about regarding this game. So let's get into it. As someone who writes as a hobby, I'm surprised it's taken me this long to actually get in as well. My name, of course, it's Sowaku, right? We gotta go for that. Okay. Oh boy. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. What is this? Is this Todd Howard's friend? It just works. It just works out. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Oh, you, oh, you got me. Oh, darn it, I should have ran faster. My legs, they don't carry me quickly. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Sawaku. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayuri. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sowaku, you can just call me Waku. You don't have to say my full name every time, sir. I guess it's my fault <laughs> for putting the entire thing in. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Uh, a club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been I haven't been looking either. I don't know, uh, you know, obviously the gender of our protagonist, but I'm just going to presume it's a girl. <laughs> so we'll go with that, shall we? Uh, it's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. You know, your typical high school student, all the way back in the 2010s. <laughs> uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look after. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? I'll give it a modicum of effort. Okay, just just a tiny, teeny little bit. I'll do what I need to to get by, alright? It's school, that's how it be. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. <sighs> clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. <laughs> Twisting my arm here, Sayori. The anime club it is. Hello? Sayori? 
Sayuri must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Thank you, helicopter parent. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No what? Well, you can come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Uh, meanie. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything, you know, as a bribe. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned us all out. <sighs> I let out a long sigh. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? That's it, and then I'm taking it to the anime club and I'm going to share it with them. <laughs> it's gonna be my it's gonna be my ticket in. Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I'm scared that's gonna have a double meaning later on. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? <laughs> Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. Way to kill the app. <laughs> Sorry. I've got my voices all mixed up. This is what happens when you're playing and it's blind and you don't know shit. <laughs> Girl 2 is right. I've killed the atmosphere already. Ah, Sawaku. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Huh? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Sowaku. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh, look at that sprite. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. You're a typical Mary Sue. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you, you too, Mo Monica? Come sit down, Sawaku. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Okay, thought we'd get a choice there, but no. Interesting. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Okay, I'm taking this entire tray to the anime club. Thank you, girls. Even though you all do look very anime, I will go to the anime club. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! 
I had no idea you were good at so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. I don't know why I started talking like American Psycho. <laughs> Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. As you do. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. I, I need to find my voice for this game. <laughs> I really do. That's the, that's the first episode for you. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? I, it's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? No? Huh? I thought you technically did. Sawyer said, well, maybe, but not for, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? <laughs> the cupcakes sold. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, uh, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. <laughs> Arguably, literature has to try very hard to get your attention. That's why we've got book covers. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. <laughs> there you go. See? Monica knows. I know the struggle. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining, even if I am a guy. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, so, Waku, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Uh, if you... Fan fiction on uh, AO3? Or fanfiction.net? Yeah. <laughs> the occasional deviant art? <laughs> Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. No, yeah, I'm... Well, hopefully the club will boost my interest in it, no? Well, that that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after see a year, seeing Yuri's sad smile. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimum at the minimal level. This rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> yeah, this is everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? A lot of people hate horror for the reason that it's scary. <laughs> well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Uh, never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! Keep that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sari so sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? I, well, well I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Because uh, this is the literature club. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? <laughs> no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? No, it's just not manga, okay? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Oh, poetry. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I never quite grasped how to write good poetry or appreciate good poetry. It's beyond me, that art form. All I know are haikus. <laughs> Does that count? The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sawaku? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, uh, hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I know jack shit about literature. <laughs> I never said I would join this club. Sorry, might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh, I've invested way too much time in here already, so I should get going. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Holy shit. Oh no, I'm weak in the knees, and now I'm about to bend them. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll stay, okay. God damn it. Stop staring at me like that. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Sawaku? You all... Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Uh, uh, right. Uh, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! He really did scare me for a moment. Yeah, just like your horror, your horror story. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sawaku, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Can 
Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Sawaku, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Uh, sh sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, let's nail it. It's time to write a poem. Oh god, no, no, don't put me on the spot like this. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. Sure. I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what kind of words these girls will like. But they did say, you know, writing is, for, is writing for oneself. So how do we want to take a crack at this? Goodness. Um... What speaks out to me here? I want to say, uh... Whew. Let's start with empty. Empty, unending existence. <sighs> That's it. That's my poem. Uh, right. I should be speaking... I should be choosing words, sorry, that I think would appeal to the people I want to get close to. Who do I even want to get close to? I don't even know. Can't kind of put me on the spot like this. I mean, they all seem nice enough, right? Uh, let's start with Sayori. Why not? What would she like? I have no clue. She seems the happiest of the bunch. Cheer. Even though I've already chosen my first three words, we're gonna we're gonna now subvert expectations. It's it's a uh, it's a whole arc where we start empty and alone and then we end up happy. All right, twirl, uh, puppy. Then we go <laughs> strawberry, um, sparkle, and then we go pink. Now, do we want to go pink? No, no, I feel like that's more of a Natsuki thing. Bliss. Um. Excitement. Do, 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 do. Awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Suicide's there. Let's go swimsuit. Sugar. Giggle. Uh, <laughs> Doki Doki. Hope. Let's go with passion. Vivacious? Hmm. <laughs> Massacre. <laughs> Rose. Then we go... Friends! Um... Shiny. And we'll end with... Ribbon. <laughs> Done. Hi again, Sawaku. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Sawaku. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Sawaku always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. I, I clean your room? Sorry, that's because your room is messy. It's so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? 
You and Sawako can become good friends, too. Uh, um, Sayuri. Hmm? As usual, Sayuri seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayuri. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry I made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, uh, what do I do? I, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Your reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, you know, read it together. You want me to read it to you as a bedtime story? Discuss it. If you want it. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's not fair! She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. I guess my poem was really shit. <laughs> How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? What, what kind of club is this where we just hang out by ourselves? We might as well go to the library, guys. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like, well, but it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Maybe we'll just make cupcakes again. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So he was taking this really seriously. It's like she wants to hypnotize everyone. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you Natsuki? Rawr! Meow! Uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayuri can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh god! Jesus Christ! Wah! Wah! I open my eyes to find Sayuri's face filling my vision. <laughs> In all its low-resolution glory. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. I was writing my poem all night. Alright? Jesus. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Huh? Not every day. 
That's not very convincing. Telling me off for not getting enough sleep. You're getting too much sleep. No, actually, you're not getting enough sleep if you're oversleeping. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayuri, it's written all over you. Huh? Do you like my pun there? Because it's the literature club. Sayuri glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all, sticking out all around here. Huh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayuri's hair, trying to straighten it out. Ooh, what a chad I am. God damn. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. <laughs> what does this sound like me minus the bow? I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. B but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you me. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Huh? Well, that's a low blow. God. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> oh, look at that. We even got CGs. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? D d don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. <laughs> Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D -d Don't say that out loud! <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> you look much better now, so... God, I'm getting my voices mixed up again. Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayuri's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more so the artist doesn't have to create a whole different sprite for her. Phew. That's so much better. Sorry, he puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like, like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things, man. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez, like my mother. Say it all is embarrassing shit in front of my friends. Uh, well, anyway, just focus and try to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. How about we both go to bed at the same time? It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayuri. Aw, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! So, Waka, I can't wait to read yours. Uh, yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayuri still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh, yeah. My relaxation. Ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration, since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, my good friend Sayuri. I saved a screenshot. Lovely. <laughs> I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. And she got me into the club. She deserves it. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Sawaku. Huh? I love it. 
I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sorry, I just chose a bunch of words from the dictionary. <laughs> you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> <sighs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Sawaku poem. Yeah, yeah, it is. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. <laughs> Only the first three words. <laughs> and then... And then I started pandering to you. Sayuri hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayuri. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Sawaku. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright. I'm going to hold you to that, then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I'm, I'm bad at imitating your giggle, so... Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret. But I trust you, too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay, do we even try to decipher this? The way you glow through the blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> I like this little ode to the sun here. It's, uh... <laughs> If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. <laughs> but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Click outside poem area to continue. Done. You know what? I actually... I like that, Sayuri. You say this is your first time writing a poem? Psh, could have fooled me. You're smurfing, aren't you? This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? <laughs> no. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Ooh, that makes me feel a little better about myself. It's still, like, decent quality in my eyes. So, shit, man. You're a natural. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like a, that was a bad poem. It came out nice, so... Uh, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Uh, well, I guess I look forward to it. Now that I like literature. Who should I show my poem to next? <laughs> Once again, I... <laughs> Save a screenshot. I'm so my FPS brain constantly wants to go WASD and then go S to go down between my options. Let's go for Natsuki next. She's next on the list. Uh, hmm. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't. It just didn't evoke any emotions. You should have chosen the words demise and you know the S word for offing yourself. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Uh, I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. 
Horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay, I just realized that eagles can fly is the, actually the title of your, <laughs> of your poem. I was like, you duplicated a line. Um, okay, why is it called eagles can fly though? Um, so you're saying... <sighs> hmm. So monkeys can climb, crickets can leap. Horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run. All of those things people can do, but people can't fly. And so, uh, I guess that's why that's the focus? Alright, okay. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? You're just saying that. You're biased, you son of a bitch. Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But this isn't, this, this isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves. You're quite right, it is. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. The only time I don't really like someone's writing is if, there's, if it's clear that there's no effort put into it. You, know, you got typos everywhere, there's no consideration for tenses. Uh, you know, it's disjointed, the plot, uh, there's a ton of waffle or some shit like that. Like, that's the only time I don't really appreciate writing. Because writing is freaking hard, man. It is hard. I used to write a lot in high school, uh, and university. I'm kind of eased off of it now, just simply because I don't have time. But, uh, definitely, uh, it's a lot of hard work just to get a chapter done, let alone a whole book. I mean, I used to participate in National Novel Writing Month for the past few years, which is writing 50,000 words in just November alone. And it's a good way to try and burst through and just express yourself rather than try and think so hard about what you want to present. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Oh, I see. So that's what you meant by it. Okay. I understand now. You know, climbing, leaping, it all seems basic compared to flying. And we can only try to imitate it. Alright. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I... Uh, yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <laughs> Alright, next up, Yuri. We'll save Monica for last, of course. She is the prisoner. Even though we showed it to the vice president first. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh... Oh! Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. It's... It's cl It's pretty clear. <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Yes, you did. Come on. Uh, I, I understand this code, okay? You didn't... Just put... Just give it to me straight. Don't pretend. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. At least find something that you like about it, you know? If it's... If it's something you don't like, maybe it's because of your taste or whatever, at least find something you can appreciate about it, maybe... Like, this one line, at least, spoke to you or something of the sort. That's good feedback for, like, a novice, right? Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. I'm gonna go show my poem to Monica in the meantime. It's fine. I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. 
Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Uh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. <gasps> Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. So, we're a ghost. We're bathing under the light. Uh... The tendrils of your hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. Interesting. Interesting. Please explain. I'd love to look I'd love to learn more. I'm sorry, I must have such I have such terrible handwriting. No, no, it's fine, I could read it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, I was just trying to interpret it, and w speak for yourself, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Sawaku. But but that's in the title! Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I sp suppose you did only glance over it, after all. You said it took me a long time to read. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Uh, that's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Thank you, Yuri. Well, Monica. It's time for you to read my shit-ass poem, filled with newbie mistakes. <laughs> <laughs>